kill them. Welcome back everyone, Mikhail here and today I'm putting my two turntables up against each other. Um, although they have completely different characters, Scott Richards, Arms, I am mostly going to compare the differences between these two and what you can expect from turntables that are well between 30 and 40 years old. Um, starting with my JVC QL7 which was made in 1977 and when I got it it was completely original um, but it suffered from a lot of nicotine residue and it needed a huge clean job. Um, I managed to get it clean for about 97% but on some parts the nicotine just fused with the material and you know that's that can't be cleaned anymore. So that was about nine years ago. I bought it from somebody who inherited it from his grandfather and everything came with it like the manual, the cartridges, the box and this was before the vinyl resurgence and I bought the entire package for about 75 euros. <laughs> like I said it had the original cartridge mounted in it which was the Z1S but the suspension was completely gone. It sounded horrible and I ordered a replacement status for it but I just sold it on eBay. I kept the cartridge just to keep the entire package complete. The uh, QL7 is a direct drive table which has a uh, TT71 direct drive system. These uh, LP drives were installed in the complete JVC QL line as well as in the Victor line in Japan and it had many variations, the TT81, the TT101. And the QL7 has a uh, UA5045 arm and the motor and arm are mounted on a Victor plint uh, with just a JVC logo on there. So basically this is just a Victor turntable. The most co common problem on this arm is the rubber connection that mounts the counterweight. Uh, it often breaks due to deterioration of the rubber and when you need to go shop for this on eBay it can cost quite an amount of money or you can just buy the entire arm again on eBay which might be cheaper anyway. The uh, QL7 does 33 and 45 RPM and it spins up instantly which is normal for a direct drive table. If you want 78 RPM uh, you need a different cartridge and needle anyway but you should check older tables like the Garrus or the Jewels. Now, I only had the Torrents for a couple of months and I happened to find it by sheer luck actually. The uh, TD321 is a turntable that comes without a tone arm, so it's a 320 uh, manual operated turntable but without an arm. You have to mount the arm yourself. So the biggest difference between this one and the JVC is the drive system. The Torrents is belt driven which means the platter is spun by a belt. And the direct drive, the platter sits in the motor, that's why the name is called direct drive. There are pros and cons for this system. Um, the pro that people say about belt drives is that they are superior because of the rumble. The direct platter is, like I said, directly driven by the motor and the belt has no direct connection with the motor. Uh, on this torrents, uh, the platter and tone arm are on a separate sub chassis which should minimize the rumble of the motor on the cartridge. To be completely honest with you guys, I recorded some songs with the cartridge on both tables and there were quite some differences, but I don't believe it has anything to do with the motor rumble. The cons of belt drives are basically speed and maintenance. Um, with the push of the button, the JVC is on the exact speed. It has a stroboscope, it corrects itself, and the torrents depends completely on the belt and the pulley. Um, if the belt and the pulley are not on the right diameter, it slips, uh, can't hold its speed, or it does not do 33 or 45 RPM at all, which makes your music sound weird. Um, and this points out also the maintenance aspect. Uh, you have to replace a belt sometime in your life when it gets stretched out. Um, on the TD321 I placed a Yelco SA250 esteem tone arm. 
like I said, this the, this tur turntable did not come with a tone arm, so I placed this one. It's a straight shape and not an S-shaped arm like uh, on the QL7, and it also does not have a removable head shell. Um, Specs are a little bit different than the non-ST version, uh, which is an S-shaped arm, uh, but this is still a high-end arm. Uh, it's a bit shorter than an S arm, but it has all the options you would want from an above-par tone arm, like a virtual tracking adjustment and the adjustable height, which can also be very important if it's an aftermarket arm. The uh, arm came with the uh, Benz Ace SL cartridge, which was uh, old traded stock, but it still had a couple of hundred hours left in its lifespan, so I wasn't too worried about that. For the uh, JVC, I got a uh, Grado Prestige Green MM cartridge, which uh, is a budget cartridge. Um, although that sounded way better than the Z1S, uh, I felt that it was missing a little bit of detail. And what didn't help was that I went a couple of weeks after that to an audio shop to listen to different tables, guard riches, uh, I brought my own records. And um, after some discussion with the owner of the D uh, shop, I got a deal with uh, Benz Ace SM cartridge, uh, which is a medium output MC card. The reason I got an MC card was that the difference between an MM cartridge was quite noticeable. Um, the problem I have with this cartridge and how it comes in the packaging is that it's really difficult to set up. It doesn't have a stylus protector, so you have to be so really careful to mount it because it's such a very thin stylus. But when I mounted it and the, the adjustment went okay, which is then easy on this cartridge, it felt like a completely different table. It tracked much better, it did have a lot less uh, problems with inner groove distortion and overall the detail was much much higher. Now uh, back to the Torrents. Um, I have on both uh, tables now the Benz Ace cartridge. Uh, the JVC had the SM which is the medium output, the Torrents the SL which is a low voltage output. And after a couple of days of playing, I felt that the Ace low voltage didn't seem to work on the Torrens at all. Um, it had a little bit of groove distortion on the inner groove and I just couldn't get it right. Um, so I decided to try an MM cartridge um, that most people on the forums are quite fond about, which is the Orderphone 2M Red. Okay, this is nothing compared to a Benz Ace, price-wise, quality-wise, but I just wanted to try it out. And for budget's sake, I just didn't went for the 2M Blue, which is 100 bucks more expensive, I think. And this was going to be tested first anyway. But after I mounted this cartridge, uh, it felt quite different to begin with anyway. It sounded bright and clear, and also it packed a good punch. It had a, a track much better, a lot less inner groove distortion than with the Ace. So. I thought that the Ace was worn out, but I placed it in my JVC and it tracked perfectly, No, almost no inner groove distortion. Um, so I thought the problem was just the matching between the Torrents and the Benz. So is the 2M Red a good match for the Torrents and the Elko arm? Well, yes, but I'm really curious what, a, for instance, a 2M Orange or a 2M Black will do if they have the same tracking uh, capabilities as the 2M Red. So what's uh, the conclusion in all of this? Um, well, to be honest, I'm still amazed that these old turntables are playing so perfectly after all these years. Uh, if you maintain them correctly, I have no doubt in my mind that they can run for another 30 years or maybe 40 years. Um, my JVC might need some revisions in the future. Um, we all know that capacitors don't have the eternal life and there's quite a few electronics in the motor in the TT71. And the Torrens has a plastic sub-chassis which is really hard to find. So that could be a problem if that one breaks. Um, musically, they are completely different. When they had the two Aces mounted, it seemed that the Torrens had a bit more bass and the JVC was a bit more clearer in tone. I'm not counting the inner groove distortions on the inner track, just the first songs on each record. Um, but when I mounted the 2M Red, that all changed. The Torrens is now a turntable that can play anything quite nicely, quite neutrally, 
but uh, if I wanted some little bit more detail in the record, uh, like for instance, if you play music from, uh, I don't know, Vangelis or uh, uh, even Adele, if you have that record, I think it sounded much better on the JVC with the Ace combination than on the Torrents with the Red. Of course, the 2M Red is a is a budget cartridge. Uh, that's what I said. I'm really curious what a 2M Orange or Black will do. My advice to everyone who's shopping for turntables, uh, check out an older turntable. If you stumble on these kind of turntables, like the Denons, the Micro Seki, the Technics, uh, Jewel, uh, and you see them for a decent price, seriously consider it. Uh, they are a lot of fun. Uh, they look awesome. They look completely different than the modern turntables. Uh, but you have to inspect them carefully. They are quite old, uh, but if you maintain them well, you can all have yourself a killer turntable. Well, this is all for now. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave me, leave them in the comments or PM me. And I thank you for watching. Until next time.